Hi everybody, in, in this video I'm getting ready to show y'all a new surprise that I have recently added to the system. And I'm going to be doing a full overview on it. And so now let's go up. You notice that the keypad looks very similar to the keypad on the KDMR2. If you look up above here. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. I have now had an NCA2 on the system. And it's installed on the NCA642 kit. And um, I'm go gonna go ahead and show y'all the inside. If you open this up, you see here we got our UDAT, which is being powered by my panel's non-resettable power. I mean, but by code, it's supposed to be powered by the output power right here. But, I just have it powered by my panel's non-resettable power. And so, anybody's here's the inside of it. And here's the power connections. I do not have a power clip for the NCA2, so I have to power it using the 24 volts in terminal right here. Yeah, here's still the wiring for the, the NFS2640 inside here as well and if you look in the back of there we got an NCMW and the mp3 board is right behind it see this NCM right here is for the 640 and if you look back there you notice that the lights on the NCM are on that shows that the NCMW is working. And I also have another NCM behind the UDAT. But you see there's no yellow lights lit up on this NCM. Well, this is the NCM for the NCA2. And just for a tip, the NCM for the NCA2 has to be installed in the middle of the network. Otherwise, the NCA2 will not like it and will throw a network fail trouble. The 640 does not do that, but the NCA2 will do that. So you see, here's the, the, here's the UDAT, which is now onto the NCA2. It's no longer on the NFS2640. And yeah, here's the ACS connection going over to the UDACT. The ACM24ATs are still on the NFS2640. See down here, the NCA2 is now on the NCA642 kit. And yeah, it's pretty much the inside of it. And if you, if I open up the DVC's dress panel, you won't be able to see it, but there's also an NCM behind the DVC right there. But sorry, you won't, you're not able to see that. But the DVC is also connected to an NCMW. So I've got a total of three NCMWs on the system, one for the DVC, one for the 640, and one for the NCA2. All right. And the 640 is node 1, DVC is node 2, and the NCA2 is node 3. So now my system is multi-networked. And now we're going to go ahead and close this back up. Might be difficult to do with one hand. There we go. And now I'm going to show y'all the basic functions of the Notifier NCA2. And so up here you got your system normal message and got the Notifier logo for the banner, which I plan to not change anytime soon. And
we're gonna go into main menu and you can um read the status of points like for like a detector or a module so let's say when I'm going to do node one loop one detector one and press a set the detector is not active see it here it shows the values of the detector the um sensitivity rating which is at 96 percent and the shows a very clean status which is very good and we're gonna go back and this button you can display the history of what occurred in the panel so gonna go see all the events that were on the NFS 2 640 see this is how you look at all events on the NFS 2 640 okay let's back out of that multiple oh hold on if you go to multiple event list, you'll notice that there are no active events existing right now. So we'll go back to main menu. And event counts display. I don't know what that is, but comment down below if you think you know what it is. But anyways, if you, if you go to your graphic screen, it'll go to the Notifier logo, which is very professional. But we're going to go back to Main Menu and we're going to go and do some basic, go into basic programming. And so to go into programming, come up here and press the soft key beside the program alter status. Go to a set. And we're going to go to Alter Status Menu. You see, this is where you can like disable devices, do a walk test, change the time, check detector sensitivity, and so clear history, and so on. So, also, this is where you can um, turn on like NACs and stuff like that manually without an ACM. We are not going to do that. So, okay, we are now in master programming, and um, node program is set to node three, which is the NCA2 panel program menu. If you go to that, you can like go like set your network parameters, which is you would set the node for the NCA2 network mapping. This will um, take you to the screen where you can manually enter the nodes that are mapped on the system, like for the NFS 2640 and the DVC. And if you go to, if you, if you press auto program, it will automatically map those for you. So that's pretty neat. And let's go back. The panel settings this is for like the settings for your nca2 whether you want local control which you do want on otherwise you will not be able to press anything with it disabled piso this is important you have to have the piso on the nca2 otherwise the nca2 will throw a buzzer offline trouble event ordering this is all correct right there display address the reminder menu this is where you want to set like reminders for alarms or troubles or something like that and 
this page shows you where you can set like mass notification controls or like SCS settings. See, this is how you set the settings for SCS modules, but I do not have those at the moment. And if you set mass notification to not used, it'll prevent the control active LED from lighting up. Default settings that resets the settings back to defaults, I think. I'm gonna go back. We go to more. Panel timers. This is where you could set your AC fail delay or the silence inhibit timers or like if you want to enable auto silence if we go to more you can set the timers back to default we're going to go back out of that yeah. event monitoring this is important you want to make sure all stuff on event monitoring monitoring is set to yes so go right here lcd display this is how you you will set the settings for the LCD screen, whether you want it brighter or darker. So if you want it like darker, you would do that. But we're going to leave it as default because that's what I like. And backlight, we want to set to when I, I want it set to on except AC fail because when the power goes out, I want the LCD display to turn off the backlight to save power. And ACS programming, this is very important if you have a UDAT. So if you go into ACS programming, this is where you would add your UDAT and and um This is also where you can add like an ACM24AT or like an SCS8 or an AMG. You can add um, ACM24ATs on the NCA2 just like they are on this NFS2640. But I am not going to do that. The only ACS device I have on the, on the NCA2 is a UDAT. So if you go to port programming, this is really important if you want to to show all the events and have the UDAT transferred the events over to the central station correctly. So ACS points 1 through 8 are fixed points for the UDAT, so you cannot change those. Starting with ACE starting with point nine this is where you will start to add your SC SLC devices I mean based on what how they're listed in the central station and how they are programmed in the UDAT you have to set them in the right order otherwise they will either not report at all or report as a wrong point so um, Here's all the points that are, by the way, for control and relay modules, you have to set them to control. Otherwise, when they go to, into alarm, they will report as a monitor module point, which is not right. So you got to make sure that, that all control and relay modules are set to control. Now, if we go to the Here, as you see, here's all the mod the modules that are added into the NCA2. Again, this is really important if you want the UDAP to send events related to the SLC devices from the NCA2.
And um, point 41, that's the last module on my system. And so, how to add a point to the AC, to the NCA2? You go to mode. You set the type that you want. Like for example, set to monitor and the source. You want to make sure it's set to node one. Then you can scroll through which type of device you want to assign to the ACS point. But we are going to assign the first detector on the system. So I'm going to go to node one, loop one, detector one, and we're going to press accept. And then the next point, we will go here and Press mode again, go to monitor, go down here, make sure it's set at, loop, at um, node 1, then we're going to scroll until we reach detector. Here is where we're, we're going to add our detector, but this time we are, will be adding detector number two. Now we'll press accept. And um, that's how you add um, ACS points to the NCA2. Now if you go to point program menu, this is where you would add your addresses for like DAL devices or digital audio amplifiers, which I do not have. So you can do an amplifier, a zone. You can program logic zone, which I'm not going to do because I already have logic zones on the NFS2640. ACS boards. And that's pretty much it. But we are not going to be doing all of that, so I'm just going to back out. Go back to our graphics screen. And that's all the pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I like the way this looks on my NFS2640. But the downside of it is that you cannot program anything from the NFS2640 onto the NCA2. You have to do it through the software. And that's pretty much a full overview of the NCA2, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day. And I'll see you all in the next video.